This is one of the last four lessons, revision part one. We're going to have revision part two, part three, and part four. So we're going to revise what we have learned so far. So welcome. My name is Tanya Radošević. I'm your teacher and welcome to our English TV classroom again. So you know very well that Sam and Adam are your hosts here. So of course, she suggests checking the homework first and Adam of course says, let's do that. So it was about conditionals and first sentences. If the teacher gives us lots of homework this weekend, I won't be happy. First conditional. Znači, prvi kondicional, ono što je uobičajeno da se desi kao posljedica neke radnje. Dakle, realna sadašnjost ili budućnost. Može da se odnosi na sadašnje i na buduće vreme. Prvi kondicional. If Lucy had enough time, she would travel more. But the thing is, she didn't have enough time. So, if she had, kad bi imala, she would travel more. Putovala bi više. Znači, unreal. Unreal situation. Da, ima više vremena, ali nema. If the children don't eat soon, they will be grumpy. Again, first conditional. Something that is logical. Something that follows from the condition. Conditioning is that children don't eat soon. And what comes next? They will be grumpy. Logical. Consequence, posljedica, prvi kondicional. Logična posljedica onoga što se dešava u if rečenici koja nam objašnjava uslov da se nešto desi. Dakle, uslov da deca budu neraspoložene mrzovane jeste da uskoro ne jedu. If I don't go to bed soon, I'll be tired in the morning. Again, very logical. Five. If I wanted a new car, I would buy one. If I want it, but I don't want it. So it's unreal condition. Second conditional. If rečenica, past simple, would plus infinitive, uglavnoj rečenici. If Jose didn't speak good French, he wouldn't move to Paris. Aha. Da nije pričao francuski dobro, da nije njegov francuski bio dobar, on se ne bi preselio u Paris. Isto to može i bez negacije da se kaže. If Jose spoke good French, he would move to Paris. Dakle, da nije nekim slučajem pričao dobro francuski, ali jeste, ne bi se preselio u Paris, ali jeste, preselio se. If John drinks too much coffee, he'll get ill. Again, logical, consequence. Ukoliko se ispune uslov iz rečenice, zavisne i frečenice, u nezavisnoj rečenici se vidi posljedica. Ukoliko on bude pio previše kafe, pozlit ćemo. 8. If we had tidied our flat, we wouldn't have lost our keys. To je ono što sam objašnjavala da je šta bi bilo, da je bilo. Međutim, to je već prošlost i to je Prosto nemoguća situacija. Da smo sredili stan, ne bismo izgubili ključeve. Ali naravno da nismo sredili stan, pa smo sad izgubili ključeve. If Luke hadn't sent flowers to his mother, she wouldn't have been happy. So, if he sent, she would be happy. If he hadn't sent, she wouldn't have been happy. Ok? Very logical. 10. If the children were in bed, I would be able to have a bath. Sigurna sam da ste ovo svi dobro uradili. If the children were in bed, da su bili u krevetu, ali nisu. So, impossible condition. If you weren't so stubborn, we wouldn't have so many arguments. Ali, ukoliko je neko tvrdoglav, teško to možete da promenite. So, it's probably impossible condition. Second conditional. 12. If Julie hadn't gone to Sweden, she would have gone to Germany. Aha. Da nije onomad otišla u Švedsku, 
Onda bi otišla u Nemačku. If she goes to the library, she'll study more. Very logical. If the condition fulfills, koliko se ostvari uslov iz if rečenice, i ona ode u biblioteku, uči će više. Verovatno je guža u stanu. 14. If we hadn't had an argument, which we obviously had, we wouldn't have been late. But we are late, because we had an argument. So this is impossible situation, but in the past. Third conditional. Nemoguća situacija, ali se odnosi na prošlost. Zato je to treći kondicional. So, this is the lesson that we called revision. So we're going to revise past tenses. So, I really hope you do remember, everybody, that Adam said before, I was working on a project. So, when do we say, I was working on the project? What is the situation where we say that? We say that when we want to explain that a longer action was happening in the past. Longer action. Dakle, nešto je trajalo. Nešto je trajalo duže. Why did he say that his mom was working from home while he was having classes? Zašto je to rekao? Because these two actions lasted. Obe ove akcije, odnosno obe ove radnje su trajale. And they were happening at the same time. Dešavale su se isto vremeno. So, while his mom was working from home while he was having classes. So, it was at the same time. Parallel actions, so-called. So, the rule is something that Sam will explain to us, of course. She says, it looks like the graph below. Look at this graph. This is one action. For example, his mother was working from home. And this is another action. He was having online classes. And this happened at the same time. And this happened in the past. Dakle, to su dve paralelne radnje u prošlosti koje su se odvijale istovremeno. Paralelno, znači istovremeno. Jednako su trajale. Dve linije su iste. Dakle, these actions are called parallel actions. Paralelne kao u matematici, setit ćete se toga lako. And they have was, to naravno važi za I, he, she and it, or were, you, we, they. You were, we were, they were. I naravno na glavni glagol se dodaje ing. So, I was, pošto je I, da je you bilo bi were, I was studying while he was making dinner. Da li smo mi jedan drugog prekidali? Nismo. Da li smo mi jednu drugom smetali? Nismo. Da li je jedan od nas čekao da ovaj drugi nešto završi? Ne. Dakle, neko je pravio večeru, he, on je pravio večeru, dok sam ja učila. Dakle, mi nismo prekidali jednu drugu. Nismo bili verovatno ni u istoj prostoriji, ali su se stvari dešavale isto vremeno. Parallel actions. Also, we use this tense to describe the atmosphere. In English, we often use a series of parallel actions. Dakle, nekoliko istovremenih radnji. Series of parallel actions. Nekoliko istovremenih radnji. I to koristimo kako bismo opisali atmosferu. Ono što se dešava u određenom trenutku. Naravno, i dalje sve se odnosi na prošlost. Možda vam ne zvuči do kraja jasnoma da smo to već obradili, ali pogledajte primjer, bit će vam sigurno jasno. When I walked into the classroom, dakle, počinjemo opis atmosfere i situacije, šta se desilo, ja sam ušla u učionicu. Several students were busily writing homework. Užurbano su pisali domaći. Some were talking on the phones. Dakle, vidite taču sliku, sve se dešava isto vremeno. The teacher was waiting for the school bell to ring and some students were not doing anything special. So at the same time, in one classroom, I walked in and several students were writing homework. I looked at the teacher. Teacher was waiting for the school bell to ring. 
I looked at other students, they were talking on the phones, and some of them were just looking around, doing nothing special. So they were not doing anything special. So, several students were busily writing, some were talking, the teacher was waiting, some students were not doing. So we're describing atmosphere. So, guys, did anyone interrupt you? This is an important question. Da li neko prekinuo? Kao što rekoh, dok je onko ovo večeru, a ja imala nastavu istovremeno, ili sam ja, na primjer, čitala nešto ili učila, a on je kuvao večeru, mi nismo jedno drugo prekidali. I zato se to zovu paralelne radnje. I zato koristimo isto vreme. I was reading, ili I was having my lessons, ili I was studying, and he was preparing dinner. He was making dinner. Dakle, isto vreme koristimo. But Adam says, my little sister interrupted me. I was listening to my class when she walked into the room. So I was listening jedno vreme. She walked into my room drugo vreme. Sam says, my grandmother, I was working on the project when the phone rang. I was working on a project, radnja koja traje duže. Aha, when the phone rang. So my grandmother interrupted me. Sam says, and Adam says that his little sister interrupted him. So, this blue cross, that is the interruption. That is a grandmother's phone call. That is a little sister interrupting. Okay? So, Adam will explain the rule for interruption. Koje je pravilo kad se prekine neka druga radnja? So, Adam says his little sister interrupted him. Yes, it was so rude of her. Look at the graph. So, guys, when longer action is going on, this is the red one. Longer action. Duža radnja koja trajala. I was listening to my class. Of course, we use I was, you were, she, he, it, was, we were, you were, they were. Glavni glagol stavimo na njega, a ng. So, I was listening, you were listening, they were listening, we were listening, he was listening, she was listening to my class. And then someone interrupts me. Then I will say, I was listening to my class when my sister walked in. Dakle, koristimo past simple tense za onu radnju koja je prekida, ovu drugu radnju koja je u past continuous tense. Past continuous tense inače zove i past, sigurno se sećate toga, kako? When the phone rang, she was writing a letter. Past progressive tense, tako je. So when the phone rang, she was writing a letter. Radnja koja je prekinula, phone rang. She was writing a letter. Duže je trajalo to njeno pisanje pisma, logično, nego trenutak kada je telefon zazvonio. Dakle, ovdje rečenice mogu da se kombinuju u smislu She was writing a letter when the phone rang. Ili možemo staviti glavnu rečenicu na početak. Nezavisno. She was writing a letter when the phone rang, što je zavisna rečenica. Inače su rečenice u kojima se nalazi reč when, uvek u past simple rank. So Sam says, Adam, this was not so easy. Or should I say, wasn't. And of course, Adam says, you can say both. But if you're writing a formal letter or email, you should write was not or were not. Because it's not the same. Who do you write to? If you write to a teacher or someone who's friend of your parents or someone you don't know, you will use full version. Was not. Not wasn't. If you write to a friend, you say wasn't. But both are correct. 
And logically, Sam asks about questions. So Adam says, well, you can ask questions like, were you working or weren't you working, depending on what you want to know. Were you working? Da li si radio, radila? Or weren't you working? Zar nisi radila? Zar nisi radio? Aha, she says. And then, what's the answer then? Well, it's easy. You say, yes, I was working or no, I wasn't working. So, take attention, look at while versus when. Kao što sam je već povenula u rečenicama koje počinju sa when, najčešće stoji, odnosno uvek stoji, past simple tense. While se koristi ukoliko želimo da kažemo da su neke situacije tekle istovremeno, paralelno. Parallel actions, istovremene radnje. I was having my class while he was making dinner. I was listening to music while my mom was cleaning the house. I was talking to my friend on the phone while my little sister was playing with her dolls. So while expresses the idea of during that time. Također za to se koristi. While I was studying, she called. U toku procesa učenja. Dok je to trajalo. While I was studying. When, kao što rekoh, se najčešće koristi tako što iza njega dolazi glagol koji se završava u ed, ako je pravilan, pa simple oblik, odnosno ono što vi zovete druga kolona, liste nepravilnih glagola. I was studying when she called. Call je pravilan glagol, stoga called. Također, kao što sam već napomenula, while se koristi u istovremenim radnjama, parallel actions. I was studying while he was listening to music. So what are the other uses of past actions? Well, we already mentioned when, right? Uh, yes, and what about it? Well, Adam will explain this, I hope, shortly. So, look at this graph below, people. Look at this graph. When you want to say that an action started and finished, 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 always remember that Simple past is specific time in the past. We know exactly when. And it's finished. It's done. And it's before now. Before present. It is in past. And it's finished. You say, I saw a movie yesterday. Yesterday was finished. So I saw a movie. I didn't see a movie yesterday. Same thing. It's just negation. Negative form. Last year, I traveled to Japan. Last year... I didn't travel to Japan. Same thing, negative. Last year, gone. It's finished. So it started and finished last year. She washed her car. It's done. Gone. It's already done. So she didn't wash her car as well. That time has gone. Of course, when we want to talk about things happening one after another. One thing happened, one action, then second action, then third action, then fourth action. When things happen one after another, we also use this tense, past simple tense. So, for example, I finished homework, walked to the beach and found a nice place to swim. Šta se ovdje dešava? Prvo sam završio domaći, onda sam otišao do plaže i onda sam našao lepo mjesto za plivanje. He arrived from the airport at 8, checked into hotel at 9 and met the others at 10. Arrived from the airport, znači prvo je stigao sa aerodroma u 8, pa se onda desilo 9, pa se onda je logično protokom vremena desilo 10. Šta je uradio? He first arrived from the airport. Ovdje pomaže ako koristite first, then, then. I tako dalje. He arrived from the airport at 8. Then he checked into the hotel at 9. And then he met the others at 10. So we use the same past tense. Also, we use this tense when we want to express something, some action that often has these 
expressions for two years, four or five months, all day, all year. Dakle, hoćemo da kažemo da je neka duža radnja uh, uh, trajala, da se dešavala u prošlosti i da je završena. Ali u tom slučaju naglasimo to. Stavimo celu frazu for two years, four or five months, all day, all year. Examples. I lived in Brazil for two years. Što je ovdje važno? Trajalo je dve godine, da. I to je u principu neki duži period. Zavisi iz kog ugla gledate. U principu, ako posmatrate iz, celog, iz ugla celog života, ne, nije dug period. Ali realno, jeste. Međutim, čim stavite I lived, to znači da je to završeno. Zbog toga je važno ovo vreme. Završeno je. Ja više ne živim u Brazilu. Živjela sam tamo dve godine i više ne živim. Shona studied Japanese for five years. Da li to završeno? Pa da, završeno je, zato što je stavljeno u to vreme koje objašnjava da je nešto završeno. Pa simple sense. They sat at the beach all day. Dakle, želim da naglasim da je trajalo, ali želim da naglasim i da je završeno. Sedeli smo u plaži ceo dan. To je zaista trajalo. Međutim, taj ceo dan je prošao. Zato kažem set. We talked on the phone for 30 minutes. Ista stvar. Želim da kažem da je trajalo, želim da kažem koliko je trajalo, ali također želim da naglasim i da je završeno. We talked on the phone for 30 minutes. That's gone. Those 30 minutes are gone. Past. How long did you wait for them? Same thing. It's just a question. We waited for one hour. Again. So, for questions we use did, she says. And Adam says, of course, yes. And what is this tense called? It's called past simple tense. Znam da ste znali i drago mi je što ste znali. And then she says, but do you know how is tense we were talking about called? He says, sure, it's past continuous tense. Well done, Adam. Well done, everyone. Past continuous tense or past progressive tense. To je nešto što je bilo u progresu, što je trajalo, što je imalo svoj početak, napredak, kraj i trajanje. So, da ponovimo to. I told my mom I was... Uh, I told you that my mom was working from home while I was watching my lessons on TV. While, dakle, paralelno su trajale te radnje. I was working, I was watching. I also mentioned that I helped my mom prepare pizza for dinner. Dakle, to je trajalo kraće. I also said that I played video games after the classes. Remember, Sam? Sure, she remembers. And she told Adam, and she says, I told you that I was washing my hands more than ever before, and I was wearing mask when I was outside. I also told you I missed my friends a lot, and that we did not or didn't go to school last month. Nobody went to school last month, sorry. So... Adam, when do we say my mom was working from home? And Adam, of course, explains. We say that when we want to say that a longer action was happening in the past. Longer action. I was working from home. She was working from home. You were working from home. It lasted. It was longer action. Question. Kako pravimo pitanje? My mom was working, dakle, imamo dva glagola, i was i working, što znači da je jedan glavni, jedan je pomoćni, koji je glavni, onaj koji nosi značenje. Vi kad biste rekli my mom was from home, niste baš ništa rekli. Ali ako kažete my mom working from home, to je nepravilno, ali će vas ljudi razumeti. Zato što glagol working ovdje nosi značenje. Dakle, onaj koji nosi značenje, to je glavni glagol. Dakle, on drugom ostaje da bude pomoćni. A šta radi pomoći glagol? On pomaže da se napravi pitanje ili da se napravi negacija odličena rečenica. Kako? Tako što uzmete pomoći glagol i stavite ga ispred svega drugog u toj rečenici. I tako napravite pitanje. Pomaže vam da napravite pitanje. Ako je rečenica bila my mom was working from home, a bila je, onda će biti was ispred svega my mom working from home, Question mark, znak pitanja na kraju. Ok, znači pomoćni glagol nije onaj koji nosi značenje. Ako ga izbacite, razumet će vas ljudi što kažete, neće biti pravilno, će vas razumeti. Dakle, onaj koji vam je potreban da vas razumeju je glavni, ovaj drugi koji vam nije potreban da vas razumeju, ali vam je potreban za nešto drugo. Sad smo videli za šta. 
Potreba vam je da ga stavite ispred svega i postavite pitanje. Potreban vam je i za negativni oblik da ga nakačite na not. Dakle, my mom was not, wasn't, working from home. Dakle, taj pomoć u glagol uvijek ima svoju funkciju. U pitanjima je funkciju da postoji pitanje, da ga stavite ispred svega. U negativnim rečenicama, u odričnim, ima funkciju da kada njega stavite not, dobijete negativnu, odnosno odričnu rečenicu. My mom wasn't, was not, working from home. Dakle, šta je pravilo? What is the rule here? So, just put was, were, auxiliary verb, auxiliary, pomoćni glagol. To be in the past. To be in the past je druga kolona. Was ili were. I glavni glagol stavite u infinitivu na koji dodajte ing. Work, working. Dakle, glagol to be u prošlosti glasi was ili were. Ako je my mom, to je she, znači was. Ako je you, bit će were. You weren't working from home. Were you working from home? You were working from home. Ok? So, it's almost the same about questions. To sam već objasnila. Pomoću glagol, auxiliary verb, to be, ide ispred subjekta, in front of subject. Onda se dodaje glavni glagol u infinitivu na koji dodajemo ing. And not, you just put not to auxiliary verb. That's it. I know you know that. So, let's just go through it quickly. Form in simple past. I visited my friends. Izjavna rečenica. Positive. Did you visit your friends? Ubacujemo did. Did već nosi informaciju da je to prošlost. Tu informaciju ne ponavljamo opet na glagolu visited. Znači, nikad ne ide did i visited. Did you visit? Kod didn't isto važi. Didn't visit. Zašto? Zato što did... Već vidimo da nije du, već vidimo da je prošlo vreme. Dakle, nema potrebe da se to opet stavlja na glavu. U izjavnim rečenicama nemate did, jedno negde morate da stavite da se vidi da je to prošlo vreme. Stavljate na glavu, visited. Visit je pravilan, dodajemo ide. Da je nepravilan, kao recimo go, stavili bismo went, druga kolona. Dakle, znam da ovo znate. I visited my friends, did you visit your friends? I didn't visit my friends, odlično. I often went to the beach. Did you often go? Dakle, vraćate glagol u infinitiv, jer je did već dovoljno informacija da je to prošlost. I didn't often go to the beach, i tako dalje. Past continuous ili past progressive. Dakle, rekli smo was, were, pomoćni glagol, glavni glagol dobija ing u nastavku. Pa, na primjer, you were studying when she called, čak da je prekinula, Were you studying when she called? Dakle, pomoćni glagol stavimo ispred svega da postavimo pitanje i na pomoćni glagol dodajemo not da bismo napravili odličnu rečenicu. You were not studying when she called. So, Sam, tell us please what this lesson was about. It was about past tenses and when to use them. Now, let's do some exercises, people. We have to practice a little. You know we have to. So, choose past simple or past continuous. What you do when I call you last night? Prvo, imate odmah rečenicu when, tu treba da vam bude jasno da tu ide past simple. Znači, glago call ide u past simple, plus imate last night, znači opet past simple. E sad ovo, šta si radio kad sam te pozvao, verovatno je to nešto duže trajalo. Dakle, what were you doing when I called you last night? Logično, to je onaj primjer sa... Dužom radnjom koji prekida kraće radnje. Duža radnja je past continuous, kraće radnje je past simple. I sit in a cafe when you call. Aha, slična situacija. I was sitting in a cafe when you called. I was sitting in a cafe je trajalo. When you called, prekinuo si me. I to je past simple. When rečenica. When you arrive at a party, who be there? Kad se stigao na žurku, ko je tamo bio? When rečenica, dakle. When you write. Who was there? Ha. Zašto? Zato što bi bilo vrlo nezgodno i neprijetno reći who was being there, a i netačno. Ko je bio tamo? Kod glagola bi je specifična situacija. Ko je bio tamo? Ko je Bora bio? Obično kada je u past simple. Again, Suzy watch a film when she hear the noise. Aha, ovdje opet imamo when, dakle to ide sigurno past simple, a samo treba da razmislimo da li je ovo Suzy, 
watch film, radnja koja je trajala duže, a naravno jeste, sa Suzy was watching a film when she heard the noise. Yesterday I go to library, next I have a swim, later I met Julie for a coffee. Dakle, ovde je radnja i jedna za drugom se nabrajaju. To je onaj primjer sa ona tri krstića na grafikonu. Siguran sam se sećate, znači sve ide pa simple. Yesterday I went to the library, next I had a swim, later I met Julie for a coffee. Again, six. Sorry, we play tennis with John. When John hurt his ankle. Igrali smo tenis kad je John povredio svoj članak. Dakle, on se povredio, a mi smo igrali tenis. When, opet rečenica, jasno je da je to past simple. Znači, we were playing tenis when John hurt his ankle. What they do at 10 p.m. last night. To je vrlo jasno. It be really noisy. Sigurno sam da ovo znate. What were they doing at 10 p.m. last night? It was really noisy. Šta su to oni radili, sinoć? Bilo je prilično bučno. He take a shower, then when the telephone ring, aha, znači neko se tuširao kada je telefon zazvonio. Dakle, to je ta situacija gde neka radnja koja je kraća, kao što je zvonio telefona, preki da radnju koja inače traja, koja je već u progresu, progresiv, past progresiv. He was taking a shower when the telephone rang. He was in the shower when the telephone rang again. And then when I walked into the room, everyone was working. Zašto? Zato što je u ven rečenica, pa simple, logično. And everyone was working. Kad sam ušao u tom trenutku, vidio sam da se drugi nečim bave. Nešto rade. It was... It was the day last September. Ovo je opisivanje atmosfere, to smo već radili. The sun was shining, the birds were singing. I was walking along the street when I met an old friend. Dakle, a kad se opisuje atmosfera, znači ne jedna za drugom radnje koje su tekli jedna, pa druga, pa treća, pa četvrta, a koje su se međusobno prvo prethodno završavale. Tu onda idemo pa simple, pa simple, pa simple, pa simple. Ovde opisujemo atmosferu i to je sve past continuous. Međutim, šta se dešava? Ulećemo u situaciju gde se dešava when. When znači automatski past simple, ali nalećem na starog prijatelja. On me prekida u moju šeji. So, guys, this is homework. This is mobilko, of course. Take a photo. It's not a big homework, though. Past simple or past continuous. Again, take a photo, past simple or past continuous. Again, that's it. Goodbye for now. We have to say from Maria and from myself, please still do take care of yourselves. It's not over yet. So wash your hands. Wash your hands forever. It's never enough. Stay healthy, listen to your parents, and of course, stay tuned, guys.